to the discussion of phylogenetics and first of all I just want to make sure uh, one confusion uh, which may have arise when you will you will be listening to the first lecture that there are some um, different types of tree buildings like for example uh, once I was trying to build like this right I was trying to build like this for example a b c d and e right i was trying to build uh, and uh, later in the lecture you can see i have built a lecture uh, uh, tree like this right so there is uh, this is the root this is the root right so these two are uh, uh, totally same it's just one is more like a s uh, square tree and the other is more like a linear tree or there are different names specific names to it i don't know the exact name but obviously some would, would have given the name to different types of the different formats of the tree so this one is also both of these trees are same here you can see that in this tree a and b are closely related and are in this in, in one cluster right here you can see that a and b are closely related are in one cluster N next here you can see c and b are closely related and c and d are closely related and they are in one cluster so and both of them are connected through this node here both of them are connected through this node so this is almost in the and then there's an out group of e here you can see E is the last outgroup and also here there is a last outgroup E. So th both these methods are totally same. So don't be get uh, confused. I like more, um, most of the time I like uh, this one. So that's why I mainly draw a tree like this and I usually ignore these kind of trees. So if you like this one, this tree or this depends on you, both of the methods are correct, right? So let's erase this and let's go back to the uh, topic. So last thing which we were discussing was rooting and unrooted tree and how we, uh, what are the important uh, concepts uh, related to rooting a tree and why we discuss that. This is very important that why we discuss that how we can root an unrooted tree because the reason is that when we root a uh, unrooted tree then that specific point is very important in in uh, actually generating the whole meaning of the tree uh, it i mean when uh, we build a tree and we insert a node as a root this that root actually tells the whole tr meaning of the phylogenetic tree if we insert a wrong uh, root that will disrupt the whole tree for example let's take an example here these uh, things are also mentioned in the uh, uh, slide so you can also check it there for example if there is one this is a one unrooted tree right let's suppose this is first we should see that if we insert a root then how does it change the meaning of the tree right okay so for example right so there are different different uh, sides like for example this one this one this one this one this one and this one these all are different positions where we can insert a root for instance if we insert a root here right then what will happen what will happen what do you think what will happen then it means that the B will be the B will be the last out group and the last uh, you can say last common ancestor and the most distantly related uh, species in the tree so if I make that tree uh, for instance if we insert a node node at at this point B then the tree would be like for example here you can see that uh, C and D are closely related like you can make a tree like this you 
you can just uh, C and D here then there is uh, out group of A right and then there is a here it is there is a root which actually here we inserted the B so now in this tree you can see that sorry my diagram is very dirty but I think I am I am I uh, the the purpose is what is the purpose of this making this beautiful diagram is solved so don't go into the beauty of my writing but just go into the meaning what I want to s um, uh, share but of course it's very important to write neatly and uh, I'm not discouraging the people who who are good at writing but I'm just trying to justify my efforts <laughs> yeah okay so next uh, if um, so if we insert a node here then it means that the out group is B now the most distantly related species or the gene or any sequence is in this tree is B but if we insert a node here for example at B A then it will change the whole thing like then again there will be uh, C and D then there is an out group A no no here we inserted the node here A so then there will be an out group here B and then the last is A. So now the most distantly related species is A. So obviously here you can see that both the trees, when we insert a root, it will totally change the meaning of the tree. And now first in this tree, B was the most distantly related and here A is the most distantly related. And so, and now if we want to make this tree in this, different way that like I showed previously that both have the same meaning here you can see that A then C and D this one C and D and then A and then B so now both of them are same and same is for the for the case of here so why now just to make it more meaningful for all of you if we just change the ABC with the any species name that would make it more like suppose for example I am saying that we replace ABC with any species name that will make things more understandable for the people who are not getting my point maybe but I know obviously I am very much I am uh, very much clear for example if we write at A position where is my a it's human let's suppose it's human now here it's dog right here it's cat and this is you can say drosophila for example now if we insert a root here at this point then the tree is fine because drosophila is the most distantly related species out of all these four species but if we insert a root at this point or this point or this point this will make human dog or cat the most distantly related for example if we just take an example just to make it further simplified for example if we insert a root at here at human what will it make well, for example here then it will be drosophila and cat and the out group is dog and then the the last common sister is human which is totally it's totally wrong why because human is not the most distantly related species human is the most recent species so inserting uh, inserting the root is the key in generating the phylogenetic tree if we insert the wrong wrong uh, root it will totally disrupt the whole tree you can also find this in the in the discussion section in the PPT so now let's 